Hey guys, what's going on? I am Pope People, and today I'll be showing you a guide on how to get four kill trips at Vorcath. So, we're going to start this off with my gear setup. <clears throat> so, for me, I'm using some Elite Void. I have the Salve MEI, which is something I highly recommend everyone uses at Vorcath, the Salve MEI. Um, I definitely recommend Void, your best accumulator, or if you have this similar, obviously use that. Uh, the ACB and the Pegasians and Archer's Ring aren't ne like necessary. Highly recommend them though. If you don't have the Pegasians, use on Holy Boots. If you don't have the Archer Ring imbued, try using the Archer's Ring if you could afford that. If not, then just don't put a ring there. Or maybe get a Warrior's Ring for some defense bonus if they have that. I'm not. I'm not too sure. But all in all, this is my gear setup. So there's no Dragon Hunter crossbow. There's no Bandos God Sword. No. Uh, no dragon warhammer and as you can see my stats are like super shit i'm a range tank so i don't have any attack bonuses that's the only reason i don't use the attack styles maybe if you guys use them and you're getting four kill trips you know go ahead and do that but for me i have a simple setup i have some diamond bolts in the inventory a range a super extended uh super fire or whatever the fuck <laughs> an anti-venom and three pair of pots the rest sharks i have the firmic sea boots and i have a ruin pouch the firmic sea boots get me to relica so if you guys just have a house teleport to relica like right outside of it it saves you guys an extra inventory space if you see that you need the food so you could take the boots out you won't even need them and you have an extra spot for food it's up to you or maybe you need prayer pots uh, depending on your game style you know you could set this up however you want it to be so look at my ruin pouch i have some chaos ruins law ruins and some dust ruins and those give me the ability to teleport to my house and they also give me crumble and dead spell so from there on let's go ahead and see how we do this boss all right guys let's go ahead and kick this off with the boss i drink my potions in a weird series and if you guys want to follow you definitely can it's on screen it's not too hard i just back up i drink the first two back up and i drink the anti venom it's not hard at all after that, I go ahead and turn on my prayer, which is range, pray, rigor, and preserve. Now, I I uh I count Vorkath's hits, which is kind of weird, and I've been killing Vorkath for a little while. Sorry, I drink some water. But <clears throat> I've been killing Vorkath for a little while, and I realized that he has two patterns, which uh every seven hits, he does one of these special hits, which ends up being the acid pools, or he ends up freezing you, and he spawns the zombified spawn, which is pretty simple to follow, by the way, especially if you count it out loud, which I'm going to show you right now. So once he finishes with spamming these hits, he's going to hit one time, and I literally do this when I started off. I counted every single one out loud. So that's two. And I would just keep counting and uh, like eating and doing all that stuff. So that was three. And this is four, five. And then on the sixth hit, usually I'll turn off my run if it isn't a fireball. But you don't have to do it on the freeze hit. And then you click away. And once you click away, it it stops the aggro to Vorkath, and you're able to shoot that zombified spawn. It's much better um, if you're doing this for the acid pool. I don't really see the freeze being a huge deal breaker, but this is the third hit right now. And I'm, I'm going to show you guys what I mean. So this is the fourth hit. Fifth hit. I don't want to keep counting. It's kind of weird. Apologize for that. But yeah. This is the seventh hit. And I had my runoff, and this is why it's so good. Because if you have your runoff right away on that sixth hit, because you know it's not going to be a fireball on the next hit, you know it's going to be the acid pools, you're way more prepared, and you're able to negate getting hit by any of these little fireballs. Little little miniature fireballs still fuck you up. But that's what I've been doing. I've, I've just been counting to seven, and uh, it's it seems weird. But it's really helped, man. I went from one kill at Vorkath to four kills, and I do it all the time. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys at the end uh, what, like, how easy it is. And I'll show you guys some of the fails I've done and, um, I guess, some tips I could give you while doing these fails. Alright guys, so here we are towards the end of the trip of our good old pal Vorkath, and uh, we're just specking him out a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys follow this, but... What I usually do is once he gets to 35% health, I'll go ahead and switch over to the Diamond Bolts. And I know it might seem a little bit crazy right now. I have no food. And uh, something that usually happens with Vorkath is if you're not paying attention, you run out of food pretty quick. But I don't think I, I was... Uh, I, I started paying attention more towards the end of this kill. Started being more of a sweaty nerd. I was watching YouTube prior to the the, like the first one and two kills because I wasn't really paying attention. Kind of used to Vorkath and I could really sense when his uh, next phase is going to come, which is kind of weird. It's, it's pretty bad actually kind of addictive whatever um so i went ahead and i started taking it a bit more serious since i had no food 
like I said before, I only bring three prayer potions, and I still have almost like a full dose. There might be a full dose. The screen's kind of small. Looks like a full dose, but I still have a full one, and it's one. But uh, yeah, there it is, my fourth kill, which is pretty simple. And unfortunately, I had to leave some of the blue dehyde behind. I was like trying to find out what I could do to keep it, but I couldn't. There's nothing I could do besides bury a bone, and that's like not even worth doing. So uh, yeah, that was my first trip. Or, not my first trip, but that was one of my trips with the four kills. Not too bad. Alright guys, so another instance that I wanted to show you while killing Vorkath is when you're super low on food and you just got your third kill. <clears throat> Something I recommend when you're doing this is don't give up. Yeah, you you just got your third kill and you have like no food left. Maybe you, maybe you have one food, maybe you have two food. But I've literally killed Vorkath at times where I've had to use no food or one food. So I highly recommend still trying it. You might not get it and there's a high... There's a high chance that you won't get it, but what's going to happen if you don't? You just teleport out. It's not hard. So I totally recommend still going for it. For me, I went for it here, and let's see what happens. Did you guys guess it? I panicked. I misclicked the zombified spawn, and I had to teleport, because he would have dealed at least 50 to 60 damage on me, and I would have had 12 health left. If Orkath would have shot me with a range shot, I would have died, and I didn't want to pay my 100k. Alright guys, so once again, a little bit of a different situation, not paying attention. So here I am, not paying attention, I turn my run off, and what do I do? Get hit by a fucking fireball. That's literally what I told myself not to do. And once that happened, the acid pools came, and I kind of started to panic, and I lost all my food. So the same scenario happened right before this clip, and I was like, eh, whatever. Uh, I know how to kill Vorkath, whatever. No focus needed. And same thing happens right back to back and like depletes me of all my food. And this is only my third kill. And I don't even think I was able to get this kill because I started to panic a little bit. Or I might have gotten it, I don't know. But I don't I don't think I did. But anyways guys, if this guy did help you, please leave it a comment. You know, give me a little bit of feedback. I do want to get back into YouTube. I used to do this. I used to be totally passionate about making the videos for RuneScape. Because the community is so amazing and I loved it. You guys really would hit me up all the time, and if you guys haven't seen any of my videos, I, I like highly encourage you to go ahead and check it out. Uh, it shows you guys how I made my range tank for the most part. A lot of the higher levels are left out because I, I stopped YouTube and, and I started just playing OSR. It's just trying to have a little bit of fun, and uh, I want to show the community that you can have fun playing this game. It doesn't have to be super grindy, and I think that's the reason that I got out of it. And recently, I've just been trying to give back and have fun and make people laugh, which is pretty cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do want to check back into the channel later, I am going to do a 500 Vorkath loot tab, which I'm working on right now. And I'm learning new ways of how to critique myself and stuff like that. But totally leave me some feedback, guys, if you did enjoy and all that good stuff. But I'll see you guys later. Peace out, man.